just wrapped up Fast and Furious franchise, and we wanted to make a video where we rank all the movies. Now that we've gone through them all, Taylor's finally seen everything. Wanted yeah. to go through from worst to best what our top eight is. Um, really quick, why was this last one called The Fate of the Furious? It had nothing to do with the movie whatsoever. Um, Did they intend for this to be the final one? Because eight sounds like fate, and they could be creative like that. Okay, that's fine. That's basically it. Kind of like, what the... I don't know. I, I don't know why how they fit fate into it, but I'm sure they have some convoluted idea of like, oh, we, this was always our fate. This was always the direction our lives were going to go down. But beyond that, I don't know. I don't know if there's a necessary. Family. <laughs> if there's a reason. That's all I know. But uh, number eight, Taylor, what is your number eight <laughs> top worst Fast and Furious? Movie? Number eight has got to be Tokyo Drift. Wow. Okay. Why is that? That's the worst one. Because it's garbage. It's stupid. The plot sucks. It has no interesting characters. And the town is run by the teenage high school Yakuza. Yeah. Okay. And to me, those don't those aren't like negatives necessarily. Not worse than the others. Ah, <laughs> it's just so dumb. It's so unrealistic. It's the worst one. It is one. dumb. My number eight, I'm gonna have to put in number five. Uh the one that they spend their whole time in Rio. It's just really boring. Um, there's nothing like new about it. They're yeah. switching into the heist type stuff, but like it's not it hasn't like hit and hit that realization of what the franchise is where it's like so over the top. They're still somewhat it's not realistic, but they're still trying to stay grounded. And they're doing things that are like crazy but not like super crazy in a fun way. Um yeah. But then the the there's like I don't know I'll, I'll hit the points about what what's not special about this one. It's just like the one that has the least going for it, in my opinion. Now, is that the one that starts with Vin Diesel on the prison bus, or is that the one that starts with the oil tankers that they're stealing? No, this is the one that starts with him on the prison bus, and they okay, break him out, gotcha. run to Rio. Um, and Letty is dead in this one, but we find out at the end of this, she's still alive, which is another point against this movie. So dumb to do. Okay. That. Yeah. Uh, number so seven. That's the worst one. I think that's the worst one. That's my, okay. that's my least favorite one. Uh, okay. So number seven for me is going to have to be number four. Okay. Which was, I think just fast and furious. Fast and furious. Yeah. That one is really close to being the worst one, but mm. Tokyo Drift just slightly beats it out. Yeah. Uh, number four was just so stupid to me. I hated it. Yeah. So I put number four in my seventh spot as well. But okay. this, so this was why I put it above number five, because I think number five is a better movie than number four is. Um, I think it has. Do you say no? <laughs> I said no. But you you put number five higher than your number four. Okay, sorry, I was <laughs> I, I'm I'm backwards. <laughs> I think number five is a better movie, but I I ranked it higher yeah. than number five because this was bringing Paul Walker and Vin Diesel back together, which yeah, but in I retrospect, in retrospect, turns out poorly. <laughs> like Vin Diesel coming back to the series, I think for the most part is worse. But it was special at the time when it came out of like, oh, this is a big deal. Vin Diesel's finally back, like, you know, getting the band back together. And there's that there's a good dynamic between Paul Walker and Vin Diesel of them still having that brotherly relationship. And it wasn't yeah. it wasn't uh, quite over the top yet at that point. OK, number six. What do you got for number, number six? six is where I would put number five. OK. Um, it's. Did you just go in order? Just three, four, five, six, seven. All right, seven. No, no, no. <laughs> okay. No, I'll switch. The next one switches <clears throat> it up a little. All bit. right. Um, I don't number. Okay, so number five. Yeah, like you were saying, it's it's not even really racing anymore. It's more heisty, mm -hmm. and I just don't like how this is kind of where they start to turn into like 
criminal masterminds. Yeah. When they're they're not. And the reveal, there's no real like they don't allude to it at all. They don't like give you any hint that that's coming. They do it all off screen until they like show you what they did and it's just Yeah. It's just frustrating. Like what why? What do you like you're not smart. You just lied to us. You know what I mean? Like you're not clever. You just hid the truth. Like what are we supposed to take away from this? Yeah. Um, but my number six, I put number six. The Justin Lin's, all of his movies are the worst. He, uh, in yeah. my opinion. Especially he took a draft. <laughs> he, he, in my opinion, made really bad movies because he didn't care about motivation he didn't care about why anything was happening he only cared about the stunts and the stunts are cool and they're exciting and they're fun to watch but you have to earn them they have to they have to make sense they have to have a reason yeah and uh number six i think is better than the other ones because the stunts are so over the top like this is the one with the airplane crash this is the one with the highway scene where Vin Diesel gets shot out of his car oh, and catches geez. Letty. Um, oh, gosh. And then they died? Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, wait. No, they didn't. That's right. Yeah. So this was all, it, it was all crazy, but like more fun than four and five to me. But still, it's not very good. Okay. Number five. Uh, okay. So actually, I am still going in order. That is where I put number six. Yeah. So, yeah, so for me, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's right. So six, yeah, I mean, pretty much for the things you just said, uh, it it, it wouldn't be so bad. It it might even be tied with number seven if it didn't have that that highway scene that we were talking about. Yeah. Yeah, I just thought that made it so stupid. Mm -hmm. My number six is Tokyo Drift. Really? Yeah. You think that's better than all those other ones? Yes. No, um, you're you're wrong. You're be, hard wrong on that. <laughs> because it's so bad. It has a it has a like a decent story structure, right? Like it's generic. It's been it's done stupid. so many times where you have like, you know, the fish out of water comes into a new thing that he's kind of got experience in but has to learn how to do it, you know? Like it's not it's not like a, an original idea, but it is structured like a story. You know, you feel like there's a beginning, there's a middle, there's an end, there's a hero's journey, there's a, you know, character development, like way more than any of the other Justin Lin movies. And the drifting, I think, is actually pretty cool to watch. Um, they do a lot of stuff. I know you hate the scene where they cut through the crowd of people, which I agree is dumb. <laughs> But <laughs> that's so stupid. I, I they like, should have killed fifty people. <laughs> I like this one out of all of Justin's lens. So Justin Lin did three, four, five, and six. This is the best of his movies. He should not have been allowed to do that many. No. Yeah. He I, should have been fired midway through number three. I think I saw that he's doing number nine. Oh. Yeah. It's pretty disappointing. Seriously? Mm-hmm. It sucks because Ooh. seven and eight were so much better than the other ones. Who did eight? Uh, I knew it. I just don't. I don't remember his name. I don't know. Yeah, it's not Justin Lin. No, James, no, for sure. You could you could James, definitely tell it's not. James Wan did seven, and then someone else did eight. I don't know. And and that one was already noticeably better. Yeah, um, and they had a nightmare for production. Production, like yeah. with Paul Walker dying and all that stuff. Like just Gary Gray this one okay number eight yes yeah um yeah so the italian job mm -hmm. yeah that's why jason statham was in it that's why uh oh he also did the negotiator from the from the 90s uh charlie's their own she was from it oh yeah 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 that's right a couple a couple of people from italian job were in number eight would have loved to see some ed norton some mark Wahlberg. some some marky mark (laughs) um number four uh, okay, so number four is where I put Too Fast, Too Furious. Okay. I, it's just it's not a good movie, but it's to me it's better than these other ones. Yeah. It's it doesn't have Vin Diesel, so that's good. That's a plus, yeah. But it just, God, I can't believe I'd even say that. 
this movie is better than anything. <laughs> then I saw the rest of these movies and I realized <laughs> it can get worse and it does. Um, it's, I like Paul Walker in this one mm-hmm. and I think, well, Paul Walker and Tyrese yeah. and it, you know, it introduces Tyrese to the series. So I could have done without like, uh, Eva Mendez and her boss. I thought they were dumb. Yeah. But the rest was fine. Yeah. I, yeah, I actually put too fast, too furious in number four slot as well. Uh, okay. like you said, Tyrese and uh, Paul Walker were a lot of fun together. They're yeah. dynamic. I and mean, you just, even the fight scene that they have together in the very beginning where neither of them can fight and they're just like wrestling and like being like, you can just, you can tell yeah. the actors are having fun doing it, even though the characters are supposed to be aggressive, you know? And so like that really comes through and you just feel like, not it doesn't make it's not like a happy movie it doesn't make you happy watching it but it's just like oh when you see them you feel like you're watching old it's, friends it's and, so and, much more light-hearted than the rest of the movie yeah it's not earnest at all they know that they're being goofy they know that they're being over the top and ridiculous yeah um but i i do think that some of the other movies the ones that we've already mentioned the justin lynn stuff i think those yeah. have better stories i think they have a better premise oh no for yeah <clears throat> But the this one just isn't there. Yeah, this one is is just done way better. Uh, and it's the introduction of Ludacris as Luda. just a promoter, like he right. owns a he was, mechanic was, shop was, and just like sets up races. He he calls Paul Walker and he's like, "Hey, do you want to race tonight?" And he's like, "Yeah." And then he shows up, and that's pretty much it. And then he runs a mechanic shop, but there's like nothing. He doesn't hack. In there's this no movie. implication that he is not like a, a dumb dumb. Yeah, no, he easily could be. There's no reason why he's a super genius. Like not even, not even smart, but in the like eight and seven, he's like a legit genius. And yeah. there's none of that in this one. Like when, like, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. It's, it's, his character progression's strange. Yeah. Number three. Okay. Number three is where I would put the Fast and the Furious. Number one. Number one. Okay. Yep. Um, it's it's one of the more realistic mm-hmm. of the eight. You know, every everything that happens in it is very easily done. Yeah. Or could be done in real life. It's it's not over the top. It's not. It's just. It's got. It's. It's got the the feel that I don't. Uh, I'm talking in circles. You can tell they were making the movie just to be a movie, with yeah. no implication mm-hmm. that there was ever going to be fifty more. It's just they weren't a making a franchise; they were just making a movie. They were just making a movie, yeah. and I think that's one of its pluses. Yeah. Um. I. Um, oh. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I agree. I, I'd put uh, number one in my third spot as well. I think that it has, it's the most grounded for sure. It's the most realistic mm-hmm. out of all of them. They're not yeah. superheroes at all in any way. They, you know, they get in a couple of fist fights, but it's not impressive. You know, it's like, it feels. Well, and everyone is like Vin Diesel's, you know, like level of, of crime fits. Yeah, what it should be. Yeah, they're He's still in DVD a, players. A ma- exactly. Yeah, exactly. Um, I thought the cast was really good. This is the most family of the cast. It makes sense for them yep. for Vin Diesel to be like, "This is my family." Uh, oh, it, d- it doesn't make sense any other time. Like, no one else seems like his family. Other like, I get why they went with that idea in the later movies, based on this first one. Yeah. But all those people die or get arrested yeah. or go away. Yeah. Yeah. You know Pretty what I much. mean? Like your family's gone. Brian is not your family. You got your sister and that's it. That's the only person, I guess, Letty. But Letty dies at a certain point too, you know? like Yeah. Um, but no, I, I enjoy this one. I think that it being grounded is fun. It's not great. And again, similar to what I was saying about Tokyo Drift, it does have that story, you know, that it's got a decent, you know, like beginning to end it's it's focused on the story it's telling there's not a lot to detract from that which is good um 
it's just not it's not as fun as a lot of the other ones yeah there's nothing special about it at all no all right number two number two is gonna be number seven okay and it, I don't care for most of it. Yeah. I, I would say, in fact, the only reason I think it's uh, a little better than number one is because I just like the way that they did the, the Paul Walker stuff at the end. Yeah. I think that saved it. Mm. Uh, or that made it, you know, where it is on my list. Yeah. Um, the story's fine. It's... It's 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 at that point it's already they're over the top and is it, okay is this the one where the rock flexes out of his cast yes it is right yeah okay that's, yeah, that's number seven that that makes it for me then um yeah I put for number two I put number eight I think oh, okay I I they're pretty close to me yeah they're both crazy they're both over the top they do you know everything is insane in both of them. I just felt like in number eight, it was so focused on Vin Diesel. Like he's the only redeeming thing left since we don't have Paul Walker uh -huh. that that put it behind for me. You know, like they, yeah. they over, they over committed to Vin Diesel and how much people would like him in this movie. And it's just, it's just frustrating. But I, I love all the stunts. I love the scene in the airplane with Jason Statham and the baby. I think that's one of the best action scenes of all time just because it's so creative and so fun and like it's stressful but lighthearted at the same time which i think is really hard to do you know yeah no i agree with that um so it's yeah it's just it's a good time so that leaves okay. number one for you is number eight correct correct what is what about number eight do you like the most out of everything else it's i I, you can definitely feel the difference in the direction of the movie. Mm. You know, you, it doesn't have a Justin Lin feel to it at all. Yeah. But it, it still does feel like Fast and Furious. I don't know. I don't know whether or not it's it's good. I just know it's better than the others. Yeah. I Like, like I said earlier, I was surprised that I actually like Jason Statham mm. in it. And then The Rock was fine, obviously. Like, he had his moments of Captain America, and it was kind of ridiculous. Yeah. But he didn't have the really bad dialogue, which killed me in the other movies. He didn't say, like, Woman. stupid things. Yeah, he was the least obnoxious in this one. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, him with the veggies. Yeah. yeah he, so he, that's what makes it the best to me. He was much more laid back. Even though he was he was only aggressive with Jason Statham, which I think is a yeah. smart play on their part. Yeah, like he can be aggressive, but like make it make sense. He shouldn't just always be aggressive. Um, but yeah, so I put number seven as my number one, and that's the number one. Huh? Uh, I think, I think the the action is so crazy, right? So over the top, them jumping cars from building to building. Like Ugh. it's oh, yeah. just, I forgot about that. <laughs> Never mind. It's down at the bottom. <laughs> it's so, it's just madness. And I, I love that they embraced it in that one. I love like as for as much as I can't stand Vin Diesel and as much as I think it's ridiculous how strong they think he is when he punches the ground and the ground collapses and turns oh. <laughs> the parking structure into a ramp. I can't help yeah. but love that. Just like, who what who came up with this like just i guarantee it was vin diesel yeah i think so it's just, based it, on that time he probably thought he did it in real life he's just like <laughs> you you want a street fight or the thing about street fights is street the street always wins always wins punches the ground and then everything collapses oh it's just so dumb but it's just so much fun and on top of that just the way they said goodbye to paul walker and like yeah. They did it so well, in my opinion. You know, like I, think I, so. I don't know how the family felt about it. I don't know if they appreciated it. I know his brothers were involved in production and like doing a bunch of stuff together. But as a, I wouldn't call myself a Fast and Furious fan, but as a viewer, I was like, wow, this feels, you know, it feels genuine. It feels earned. It doesn't feel forced, and it just feels respectful. Like, I feel, like I feel like I said goodbye in a, a weird yeah, way. Do you yeah. know what I mean? And so, oh, I do. Yeah. 
for me, I think that's what makes seven so good um, to be the best out of all of them. Yeah, I agree. But yeah. So uh, I think my list is better. Let us know in the uh, comments. If you, you had Tokyo Drift way too high. Uh, Tokyo Drift it's, is the best of the Justin Lin movies. Oh, it's so bad. It's so stupid. I would lump all of Justin Lin together as the worst and then Fast and f- Furious. put it in a garbage disposal. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah Who let, did number one? Um, I, I knew all this stuff. I, like I, I've looked at it all up. I just don't remember it off the top of my head. I don't have it in front of me right now. Um, but yeah, let us know in the comments what you think, which which movies you like the best. If you agree with our list, if you don't, and uh, we'll be back with our podcast in a couple of days.